Alright, welcome to my video everybody. My name is Dilby, and this is my my video guide for the Grappler and DNF Duel. Alright, so real quick, a background to me. I've been playing fighting games competitively for a few years now, probably about five years. I've probably actually only been decent for maybe two or three of those years. Um, I've been playing the Grappler since the very first beta for DNF Duel. I played them both betas, and I played both betas pretty heavily. And since the game launched, I've pretty much exclusively been a Grappler main. Um, so the goal of this video is just to get you started with the character. I want to give a brief overview of the character's strengths, his weaknesses, and I want to leave you with a solid foundation where you'll be able to hop in online matches and start getting wins, but at the same time, uh, it'll give you a good foundation where you'll be able to improve on it as you get better with the character. It's not within the scope of this video to leave you with a perfect answer for every situation, but I do want to give you a good enough knowledge base where you can find that answer on your own, and maybe down the line I'll create a more advanced video for those sort of things. Alright, so first off, what kind of character is the Grappler? And what kind of player do I think would enjoy playing the Grappler? Alright, so the Grappler is a very explosive, high damage character that has very high strength and decent mix-up potential, but that comes with the caveat of having very poor defense and bad neutral options. Or very bad buttons, I should say. Some of his armored options and such aren't bad, they're just not as good as other people's stuff. But like I said, that comes with the, or the ability to kill people in about one neutral exchange. So it's not all bad. Now, give me a second, I have some notes here that I wrote down, so I might have to check my notes occasionally throughout the video to make sure I stay on topic. So if you're going to want to play Grappler, you're going to want to be a more patient player. You're going to want to be the type of player that probably um, likes feeling like they're big brain. Uh, you got to make a lot of reads as Grappler. Uh, and if you make the correct read, even when the odds are stacked against you, the game will reward you with it for incredibly high damage. So if you're like the type of player who um, constantly wants to feel like they're in control, Grappler might not be the best character for you, because often with Grappler you're going to lose neutral. Uh, as hard as you may try to win it, you're probably going to lose it, and you're going to need to steal your turn back. So you're going to have to be a player that's uh, comfortable being on defense, that's for sure. So Grappler's win condition, let's go into how to play Grappler now. So his win condition, on paper, is just to touch his opponent. It doesn't matter if they block, it doesn't matter if it hits, his win condition is just to get close enough to touch things. Now that sounds really broken, and you know, it might it might be, honestly. Uh, we don't really know where the tier lists lie. Um, even though it feels like Grappler loses a lot of matchups on paper, his damage is so high that it's really hard to say whether he wins or loses any certain matchup. So, ooh, excuse me, Grappler really just wants to get in close and score a knockdown. And after a knockdown, he has tons of uh, great mix-up options, and he has incredibly high uh, Dragon Punch punish damage. So if somebody does do an Invincible Reversal, uh, he has really, really strong damage if he can call that out and block it. So um, often times you're going to be winning games in one to two neutral exchanges. If you get one knockdown, many times you'll do enough damage. Will where in the very next interaction. If you get a proper read, you're going to kill your opponent. So Grappler's rounds can usually be very momentum based, and you could spend 40 seconds to get in your ass beat just to kill your opponent in like 5 seconds. It feels really weird sometimes, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it, I guess it's over. <laughs> but yeah, that's just the life of a Grappler, I guess. So neutral in this game, um, it's character specific, obviously, so it's going to depend on who you're fighting against. But most of your neutral is going to be one using your jump in, your heavy charge jump kick. This uh, charge shoulder charge, which is plus on block if you space it correctly, but very punishable if you don't. Like, let's say you do it like that, you know, they can, they can punish that easy. But if you space it just right, it's actually plus. Um, so a lot of times you're going to be trying to get, that, get a hit with that, because on counter hit you get a combo. Um, I often will try to snipe with this move, which, uh, by the way, this is armored, uh, this is armored, um, this is armored. Uh, on top of this being armored, this is actually projectile immune, so you can use this to get through zoning. 
a lot of times, especially against like Ranger and stuff like that, they'll put you in situations where you can get out of like uh, situations you shouldn't be able to get out of by just doing an instant shoulder charge. Right? Like you're in the middle of block stun, you let that rip and you'll go straight through some of their block, their block strings that are projectile based. So that's a good little matchup tip. But anyway, a lot of times you're just gonna be trying to land one of these charge moves, right? And you're usually not going to, you're usually gonna get hit first when you put on defense and have to steal your turn back. And the stealing of turns is going to be done through the parry and your armored moves. Um, your, some characters are going to want to use your guard cancel to get off of you, but grappler with guard cancel is terrible. It, um, it's just this move right here. So it has the exact same range as this move, the same hitbox. Um, so it's good for like catching jumping and like mid air opponents and stuff, but man, if they're like. Like, Inquisitor could easily hit you from this range, right? So there's, there's all sorts of times where you'll you'll try to guard cancel and you just uh, will whiff and get punished for it. So his guard cancel is pretty bad. Only use it when the opponent's really close. Uh, let's see what's next on the list. Oh yeah, Lowe's. Lowe's dominate Grappler. Uh, every single defensive option he has, his armor is beaten by Lowe's. Um, this command grab gets beaten by Lowe's. All of his armor gets beaten by Lowe's. His parry can't parry Lowe's. Um, Rolls get beaten by Lowe's, so he, he's really in a rough spot when it comes to Lowe's, so you need to look out for that, and then, uh, you know, when people are getting overly committal with the Lowe's, that's when you can kind of start relying on your jump-ins, which your jump-ins are pretty good options. Um, Grappler has a really bad jump arc, but he has a really good hitbox on this uh, jump and kick, so we can kind of make up for his bad jump arc by adding on some extra distance, essentially. Um, sh let's see what's next. So when you finally do get in, right? Let's say you manage to make a good roll, you're in your opponent's face. Uh, after you roll in, your main options are gonna be command grab, or just start pressuring with buttons. Uh, sometimes you're gonna need to roll and block, because roll is pretty slow in this game. And many times you'll roll through an opponent's offense, but you won't actually have enough time. You'll still be negative. You won't have enough time to do anything, really. Uh, if you try to press anything, they'll usually beat you. Unless you roll through something really big. So, uh, I, I like to go for command grab, because it's tricky. Uh, a lot of people's first reaction when you roll on them is to go for a throw. And grappler's command grab is throw invulnerable. So you can kind of call it out that they're going to do that, and, uh... You know, if they throw, it'll hit, and if they don't do anything, it'll hit. It's a nice little option select in that situation. But, you know, it's not a true option select, it leads to other things. Oh, let's see what's next. Okay, you're on block, you get in. You land a couple normals, which is what you're going to want to do. So here's a couple sequences. So let's say you block. You can go straight for block command grab, or light jab command grab. And that'll work on block, and it'll work on hit. It doesn't matter which one, you don't have to try to hit confirm it or anything, it's just going to work either way. If they start jumping, after this one, after the first jab, now you can always uh, do that, or you can just do light light. And this uh, second light is a low, so it'll catch them trying to stand up to go for the throw, right? You also have your forward C, 6C is a decent option on block, which uh, the charged version is incredibly plus on block, and it pulls them towards you. And the normal non-charge version barely pulls them towards you, but it's still pretty plus on block. So uh, you get to keep your turn either way, but the charge version is slightly more advantageous. And on top of that, it pulls them close to you, so you can go straight for like a command grab. You can strike throw mix, essentially. Um, outside of this command grab, you know, you also have uh, this charge C, this command grab right here. So this one is the more damaging of the two, actually, um, even though it doesn't cost mana. It does a lot more damage, and you can, you can get full combos off that, and I'll go into his bread and butter combos at a later point in the video. So you can start representing this one as well, and you can throw this one right here if you want, but I usually prefer to use it more like this, right? I feel like they have a little bit less time to react. There's a little bit less of a gap there, I feel. I haven't actually tested it, but... Through playing, I've definitely noticed that. It seems like I get punished way less when I use it like that. Um, so you're going to start representing his grabs a lot um, against lower ranked players. And then in like mid to higher rank, you're going to have to start representing his normals more. 
So these grabs, the only way that you can really stop them is to either beat them out with a button, which is going to have to be a low for the for this one, or you can jump. And people are going to probably opt for the jump. So that's when this move comes into play right here. Your 2C, fully charged. And this move is the butter to 5C's bread. This move right here. Um, without this move, without representation from this, this move does not work against good players. Because they're going to jump every single time you start charging in their face. And uh, if they jump into this, uh, you don't get a ton of reward off of it. Right? Uh, you, it just knocks them down and puts you right back in their face. But if they jump into this, they're fucking dead. So that, that's the big difference. So a lot of times I'll like to just 50-50 in between this or uh, or this, you know? And some DPs can beat out both options if they time it right, so you gotta be careful. And then in that case you can just kinda like delay your buttons a little bit longer and it'll work just fine. Alright, what's next? So let's say you do one of these options and you do a combo that I'll get into in a little bit. And that leaves them knocked down at your feet, let's say like that. What do you do now as they're getting up? Well, keep in mind that they can do an invincible reversal at any point, and uh, most characters can at least. And if they don't have an invincible reversal, then you can really do whatever the hell you want to them. So that's where Grappler is just like, he's really overpowered against characters that don't have an invincible reversal. So when he knocks them down, it's a very, very heavily stilted in Grappler's favor guessing game. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much, you're just rolling a very loaded dice <laughs> when that happens. Um, so if they don't DP, if they do DP, you want to block it and punish, right? And that's going to have to be a guess that you're going to have to make based on your opponent's playing tendencies. But if they're not going to DP, what do you do on their wake up? Well, like I said, you can go into the, the same light pressure that I just showed you. You know, your different grabs, your charge kick. Um, you can just do a normal charge kick on wake up, which is not a bad option. It can armor through some DPs and punish them anyway. So it's, it's an okay option. Um, you can just wake up and immediately do your throw. That's an okay option. Um, you know, you have your uh, your aerial command grab, which I'm not going to be able to hit right now because I'm a doink. Yeah, that one. And this one leaves you a really good Oki. So keep that in mind. When you land this, you have access to a safe jump, which I'll show you what it is real quick. I don't want to practice it because I don't want to spend all video messing up uh, the safe jump. But anyway, anytime you land this, immediately after, you're going to purposely whiff a crouch jab, jump, crouch kick, into air command grab. And the timing is kind of tricky. You're going to want to practice it. It's going to look like that, right? There it is. And if they do a DP, the DP will actually whiff, and you'll have time, you'll land and be able to block it in time. So that's a really good safe jump mix up. You don't have to do the command grab, you can also just do your jump and kick right there instead. So it's a nice little 50 50. Um, on wake up, uh, you have your normal command grab as well. What else do we got? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if they're waking up, also you can do this in block pressure. I forgot to mention this. Um, I don't use this in block pressure, that's why I didn't mention it. But it is an option, and it's not a terrible option because, let's say, you like go in with your little block pressure. Oops. You go in with your little block pressure, and uh, let's say they jump backwards because so they think you're going to do a command grab. Well, this will catch that. And if they don't jump, let's just say they stay there and block, it's plus on block, so it's still your turn. Um, it seems like it's a really good option, but it's not armored at all, and it has a long startup, so it's actually really easy for an enemy to whack you out of it. You're kind of, uh, as a grappler player, if you do that, you're kind of betting that your opponent's going to be passive. Which, in this game, that's kind of a risky bet. Uh, Obviously, this move on Wake Up's not bad either. You just get big plus frames, armored. Uh, Alright, so let's, just, let's go into basic bread and butters now. Because on Knockdown, you kind of get what you do. You're going to re-loop your same offense. And once you see his basic bread and butters and how much damage he gets, you'll understand why these moves are so nice, right? So let's go into, let's turn the dummy onto you. Getting hit by everything. Here, let's uh, put me in the corner. Okay, so I'll show you the basic bread and butter. 
I'll show you a general combo that you can kind of change the structure around to make it fit onto any starter. I'm not going to show you specific combos for every single starter, even though those do exist and they are higher damage. Uh, they're not necessary for Grappler. This basic bread and butter that I'm going to show you, at least it's not necessary for like mid to low level play. This basic bread and butter that I'm going to show you is going to do plenty of damage. Uh, it's going to do insane damage actually, and I'll... If you want to use conversion, you can even tack on more damage with it. So I'll get right into it and let's show you how it works. So let's say you land the charge command guy, right? Which, you want to land the charge versions for these moves when you can, because you get big damage when you do. Uh, you get way, way smaller combos if you don't do the charge version, with the exception of like this move, right? This move, you can, if you land that, you can still do charge uh, 2C or back C. And it'll, uh, the charge 2C will basically make up for it. So it doesn't matter if you didn't charge that, because you're going to charge that one instead. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Alright, so if you ever land a charged armor kick, let's go straight into that then. Charge armor, you're going to jump. You can jump cancel this move, do a grab. Um, so jump. It's hard to talk through it. I'm just gonna do it, and then I'll talk through it. Maybe. Why am I not? Uh oh. <laughs> All right. That's just the basic version of the move. You can see that does really good damage. So you're just trying to get them into the air with this, and then you jump cancel into your air grab. The air grab leaves them splatted on the ground, and this move will OTG. You're going to see that over and over. You're going to put them on the ground, and you're going to use this to pick them back up. And that is pretty much essential to all of Grappler's combos from what I've found. So let's go into the version off of the command grab, and you'll see how it's similar. I'm going to grab them. And I did that too late, so if you do... Uh -oh. I'll teach you the little secret of this combo. So this move right here, if you do it too early or too late, it's going to whiff. So I'll try to do it too early. It's hard for me to do it too early now to train myself not to. There it is. That'll be, no. That would have been too early if I didn't suck. Anyway. You can do that. Into that. Into that. There you go. So very similar, very similar combo structure. Let's see. What, uh, let's, let's say you start with uh, the charge kick instead, right? You get a nice jump in. They're doing lows because they're trying to break your armor. You end up jumping over one and getting in. Right, and it leaves you right next to them in a great Oki situation. Once again. Now another thing to keep in mind: whenever you end a combo with this move. You have the potential to go straight into Awakening. So that that's one of the main reasons that you want to end all your combos with this move. Not only does it give you good Oki, but it leaves you in a situation where you can use your Awakening if you want to. And in this game, you always want to Awaken at the end of your longest and strongest combos. Because no matter what, at least for Grappler, I think it's the same for everybody, but I'm not sure. At least for Grappler, your Awakening will always do at least 200 damage. It'll never do less than that. And with that knowledge... Is that all the bread and butters? Oh no, there's one more. Oh, let's say you land your lights. That's when you go into the, something like... Uh, something like that, right? There it is, that's the full version. You can do shorter versions of it to make it a little bit easier. Like I did the first time. Um, and that move, it doesn't do, that combo isn't going to do the highest amount of damage, but it does leave you with really good Oki, and it does decent damage, right? So your highest damage starter is definitely going to be your jump in command grab, this move right here. It absolutely wrecks. I actually suspect this might get nerfed, uh, knock on wood, I hope they don't, but I... Let me show you something real quick, alright? Let's see if I can do this without making myself look dumb. Uh, I can't. Um, okay.
This is pretty. This move is hard to land. Now watch this. Like I said, it's gonna do at least 200 damage, right? I don't know if you know anything about how much health characters have in this game, but uh, she just fucking died because she got command grabs. <laughs> So yeah, this, this character has insane damage if you can manage to optimize his combos. And uh, that, that's kind of his strength, right? Because he's going to get his ass kicked in neutral, and then you're going to land one combo, and they're just going to fucking die. And it's going to feel really weird for them, it's going to feel weird for you, but hey, that's the life of the grappler, right? So yeah, as you see, you can just slap on that awakening at the end of any of these combos that I showed you. And it'll work no matter what. Um, these combos are not, like, uh, incredibly easy, but they're doable. With practice, you can do them, I promise, right? Um, as far as that goes, that's about all that I had in this video, as far as I can think of. Let me make sure I didn't forget anything real quick. Yeah, I think that's about everything. So besides that, that's about all I wanted to talk about in this video. I have a lot more knowledge with this character, obviously, but um, I don't really want to make like an advanced video guide for this character yet. There's still a lot I don't have, and I don't really want to make one of those unless it's going to be like all-encompassing. Unless I can think of a way to do it where like uh, maybe I can just like do like gra general grappler tips and stuff. But I don't know. I need to think about if I even want to do that. But anyway, thank you for sticking around this video, guys. I hope that I didn't ramble too much. I really apologize if I did. And uh, grab along, guys. Get to grab it and slap and let me know how it goes in the comments.